Hi guys! Well, today another video from my home and this time is something I've received when I was uh, out of home and I'm really excited about that so I can't do an unboxing for you because I wasn't able to wait uh, long enough before opening it so I'm sorry for the noise I hope the microphone will work well to avoid you know any annoyances and so as I've said I've already pre-opened the package but I wanted to show you the um, well I've repacked that just because well, you know I wanted to repack it I did not do that as well as it was done uh, on the first time but perhaps you will recognize that um, this is the, the sheath, a new sheath made by Hedgehog Leatherworks. I will do um, pictures and close-ups in a few seconds, so we'll have a bit of music and, uh, you know, close-ups of the old sheath, but I've always been a fan of the way they, um, they pack their stuff. And, for example, here, now they added that uh, which is uh, their tag out of leather and some uh, this is how many strands this is like five six five strands uh, jute twine which is an excellent thing for fire making and some cloth here probably like linen cloth or cotton cloth I don't really know but it's perfect for making chalk cloth and it's all natural you don't you are not left with some uh, ridiculous blisters, um, plastic packaging and stuff like that. It's all, you know, paper and stuff that is all natural. So here is the beauty. And, well, this one is the sheath for the ESEE uh, 5, number 5, which is one of their big knives so I will bring everything together um, something else I've had have in here is as always uh, the hedgehog little work uh, treatment for your sheath um, it's a natural natural um, sheath conditioner uh, beeswax and stuff like that so excellent stuff as well um, I can say that I've already had uh, two of the sheath from uh, Hedgehog Leatherworks and quality is always exceptional and they hold well so I'm really looking forward to seeing this one uh, and showing it to you because well it's it seemed like an awesome one uh, once again so I'm gonna prepare everything to make some close-ups put some music and I'll talk about a bit later so that you can see everything. See you in a few seconds.
peaceful too But they broke me across the back By a name I'm known That's not my own They call me Crooked Jack The game girl's blue I thought it was I Me Jack could do no wrong And the reason was Simply because I could work for Howard's own So I couldn't uh, make that video at home. I, I need, uh, when I review some great outdoor gear, I need to be somewhere uh, special as much as possible. And for that sheath, I wanted to make it at home, the whole review, but yeah, I had to get out in the wild somewhere that was dear uh, to me. And well, I'm back to uh, the spot I like to, to come to. Uh, as often as I can, a lot of uh, the time, most of the time after work. So at, I'm the cross, uh, cross, excuse me, near my home to talk to you about that sheath. Um, well, you have seen the, the pictures uh, of the various parts. I'm gonna talk a bit more about that. Probably uh, I will try to add, if, uh, if possible, the, the pictures in the overlay or something like that so that you have a good idea of what I'm talking about. All in all, what I have to say is that, as always, uh, it feels like you have a tank on the belt to hold that, uh, that knife, which is an excellent thing. It's really, really overbuilt in the, me in the way that you have something really solid. You know that um, there has been a lot of thoughts put into the building process of that knife. So first you have always that nice um, fire steel sheath, uh, fire steel loop that comes with it and the fire steel that is a very nice fire steel that works really well and have has a lot of grip to it when you use it so excellent thing. You have like four rivets uh, I think or I see uh, perhaps three rivets inside with a very very thick piece of leather here. Uh, probably some kind of kydex behind so you really don't have to worry about having the fire steel loop that goes away. Uh, it won't, it probably won't wear at all. Um, they have replaced the, the elastic holding uh, tab it was leather in my last knife and this one it's um, webbing looks like great quality webbing um, it's a good thing at all I think um, what else is there? yeah the two rows of stitching and it looks like they have two um, yeah it's double stitching here all here you have two in each um, in each hole, you have two paths of threads, and you have two rows of those threads. So you will probably never succeed in uh, destroying that stitching unless you really do it on purpose. So no worries about that. You have a nice um, drain hole on the bottom of the sheath, and uh, well, everything has been built with a huge attention to details in my opinion at least I really think that it's really so safe you have two rivets here on the top of those um, straps that go uh, around the, the belt you have two uh, very very strong snap buttons and one of those is held through the whole uh, setup with a bolt, hex, bolt, 
you see the thickness of it all you pretty much have yeah you have almost not exactly almost the same thickness as the blade of the knife it's really really thick leather and the texture of the leather also blends really well out in the woods all the studs hold really well um, you have then that nice nice pocket here and what comes with is your first some something that is really great also is that it's not always easy to you know get inside the sheath uh, the, the pouch those small pouches so I'm gonna show you that a bit better uh, trying to focus maximum here so here you have that this is something I've added inside it's a pencil sharpener but you have that tab that allows you to really get everything out so easily and it comes with that uh, fire steel striker surrounded by jute twine I've added that pencil sharpener uh, inside just yeah to make arrow points and to uh, to have some tinder as well so the pouch is really well made you have that flap over that protects it prevents it from being opened just by a branch going under it so if the stud goes um, off like so it's not possible to easily open the the, the pouch anyway uh, as I was showing you I'm gonna try to zoom in not sure if you can pick it well but here I can see two um, two rows of thread two passes of thread in each hole and you have two rows here so pretty well well built you have the drain hole somewhere here excuse me for manual focus not always perfect to do that all alone um, so really nice quality uh, snap button studs and when I talk about the the attention to details see here excuse me see here here you have the system that allows you a quick release see how it performs well you probably hear that it doesn't make much noise so listen to that it doesn't make the noise that another Caridex sheath would make but it's well it's still a bit stiff to close but because it's uh, it's pretty new but it's uh, it opens easily when you want to open it it doesn't open easily at all if it's not um, if you don't want to get it out so I can also show you that you won't have the knife a knife that falls anywhere can get the focus here so see it's really safe you really you will really not get it out of its sheath without wanting to get it out um, well let's say yeah I was talking about attention to detail so see here here you have excuse me I'm trying to find the focus here yeah, so that strap that opens easily on the back you have those two rivets here that hold the the elastic knots on a piece of webbing which is behind that leather see here and the flap itself I don't know if you can see that you have three rivets to hold the um, the knife loop excuse me I move a lot because I'm not having 
anything to rest on but here you see that all the details I mean you will never get that thing undone unless you want to really destroy it and I think uh, even if you wanted to it would be a hard task the um, belt loop I'm gonna show you that on the backpack already excuse me on the backpack you will see that you can easily fit on Moly gear you can easily fit the loops you have to have uh, two uh, two rows three rows excuse me and one free in the middle to hold the knife so here one strap the other trying to do that quickly for the video and I'm doing everything but what I have to so see here nice and secure uh, you can put it on your on the back of your uh, tactical jacket or anything I mean it won't get open on you uh, of course as you have remarked it's a, a scout carry sheath which is really great for wandering in the woods I'm gonna try to attach it to show you <coughs> excuse me it's uh, I want to say it's it's easy when you are not trying not to lose your balance in the rocks near a cliff so here as you can see it rides well it doesn't move here it's on my belt that moves so here and it's once you get your hand on it I mean you don't have the fear to cut the leather strap because it gets cleared out pretty instantly and see how it how quickly it is I mean grab the knife and once you grab it you have it ready ready to be used so excuse me this is always my problem to resheath it <laughs> I'm just doing a bit uh, thinking about to match things at the same time but here as I've said it's really efficient uh, you can feel it I mean all the items are great quality excellent uh, build construction attention to detail the the the, the borders of the leather have been uh, burnished they are smooth the um, logos is really really nice uh, everything is really well made it's not getting uh, dark in here it's just that the sky is not my friend today so attention to the tail great quality uh, the logo is looks really really nice in here um, well overall it's uh, a pretty beefy sheath as you may see here but it holds and I mean you have a sheath like that you will probably keep it uh, all your life and probably give it to your children uh, even if you have used it a lot because it's just it feels indestructible it's really solid but I mean those sheath are just amazing amazing and it's another really great sheath made by Paul Scheiter and his team um, they as I've said several times they know what they do they know how to do it and they do it really well so if you want more information you can uh, follow the link down on the comment box uh, to the the sheath itself and I will try to make the magic make a link appear pretty much here or maybe here I don't know yet but uh, the, she, uh, the link to the Hedgehog Leatherworks um, website 
there are really amazing people there and it's all made in the US it's well made so uh, an awesome sheath now I will try and uh, experiment a bit more with the knife itself uh, which is an ESE 5 I don't remember if I have mentioned that if you didn't uh, didn't notice before uh, I don't know that knife really much um, yet I will try that one and see how it performs and I will probably make a video review in the future if I find the time to so well this is pretty much an excellent sheath well built robust uh, and will hold a really long time and I promise you that you will do a lot of adventures with that uh, with that knife and sheath and yeah you are pretty much covered if you have the knowledge that goes with what's on the sheath you will be covered and you have yeah you have the basics fire and the knife you won't lose your knife on the way to your adventure so well thanks for watching guys if you have any question feel free to ask thanks cheers bye bye